Hi everyone, Scrappy Kathy here. Um, this is a different kind of page, but it will catch me up, I think. No, I still have one more after this on the uh, Scrap Squad lifts that I have missed. Uh, this is lift number one of 2021. And it's um, in, in the original, there's a, a photograph there, but I like Rebecca Meadows' uh, version where she kind of uses it maybe as a cover page for a 2021 album, which is what I'm going to do. I'm not going to have a straight lift of hers, but I really like the frame with some words in it and, and a cluster here, and I like the arrows. I don't have exactly those uh, clips, but... Um, uh, well, actually, that's stitching that she did. Well, never mind. I'm going to do it with clips, and we'll see, we'll see how that works. And I'm probably not going to like that as well as this nice, clean look, but what the hey. Um, as I frequently do, uh, I'm going to use a doily to stand in for a circle. My background paper is going to have the stripes of the original. It is a uh, crepe paper, Maggie Holmes, uh, Sunny Days, b the B-side. And I have another sheet of this, and I've already cut out all those wonderful tags. So I'm going to do this. I'm going to take the branding strip off, and we'll go to town. Mine is not going to have a photo. It's going to um, kind of talk about the, <laughs> the hopes I have for 2021 to be a better year than um, 2020 or 2019, as a matter of fact. So 2020 has been the, the craziness with John's health and uh, coronavirus, of course. And uh, 2019 was Ava's uh, experience with, uh, with leukemia. So I'm just kind of spritzing it. I'm going to use some pink elements. So I, I love this um, Dilutions Bubblegum Pink ink spray. So I just kind of splattered it around. And I'm going to kind of blot because I want to work on it. I really don't want any spots on the um, it, it dried. It pretty well soaked in and dried. I don't want any uh, spots on the on the doily. Okay, I'm going to assume that kind of down here, the there's going to be a cluster going on, so I can use that to attach the doily. And I think it's double. It's doubled. I don't think it. I know it uh, is doubled. And so. In order for this top layer not to come off, I'm going to try to adhere it in kind of that same place. So, there we go. Now, the numbers are the big feature here. So, I'm going to have them overlap the circle, not completely cover it. The frame I'm going to use came from a, a, a Mind the Scrap kit from earlier in the year. It's wood, and it's, um, it's covered with this metallic, and I actually like it on the wood side. So I'm going to place it kind of right there. Let me get the glue on it. I love this floral. It's just really beautiful. And I think it, it shows up so nicely on the wood side. I like the other side too. And I have some other uh, pieces to this collection. I forget what what that, who made that, who designed that, if you will. 
I'm going to kind of slide this under as one of the anchors. Oh, that works. So that just actually picked up some of the glue. There's an anchor for some of what I'm going to do in the cluster. This is, um, uh, what is that? I think collection is, I'm just going to kind of lay that over and I'm going to glue the star kind of adjacent to the flower, but kind of like that. Okay, now let's do, this kind of shows me where I can put the numbers. I'll start with the one and kind of work out. Um, this um, font uh, for the numbers is root beer float, and there are probably a few of you out there, more than a few of you out there, who recognize that font. I love it, and I loved it so much, I actually bought the entire inventory of it uh, when I found it on um, Amazon, I think, you know, several years ago. So I bought, I think they said they had 15 uh, sets of it, and I bought all 15. So I've continued to use it. It's one of my most used fonts, and happy to use it again. It's huge, which is what, um, what I needed for it to be here. And basically, I'm hoping that 2021 sees the end and, or, and a, you know, full immunizations, you know, whatever the herd immunity uh, concept is that everyone seems to be wanting to head to. I, and, and I'd like to see um, a, a definite <laughs> decline in the deaths from the virus. That's kind of an, an, an obvious thing. But I'd like to see a real uptick in John's health and let's see, we can do this. Okay, so there's my big number. I've got this, um, it's kind of, I don't know where I got this actually. Um, It's kind of a, a rubber flare, almost. It, it, it's probably more acrylic than rubber, but whatever. And I possibly can squeeze... Let's not do that one. We'll just keep it at one. I have a... Um, Another little bit on here. I'm doing this as a nod to John. John loves penguins. And uh, a million years ago, I got a set of um, pierced earrings for one of the girls. It might have been Katie, might have been Allie. And um, in that, when I got it, it like one of the penguins, it's just a tiny little penguin. Uh, one of the penguins, uh, one of the earrings got lost. So, I'm using my tweezers to poke a hole for me to actually do the, um, the backing on this little earring. And because the, the um, star is propped up on this, uh, on this frame, the backing, uh, there's room for the backing back behind there. I say that, and maybe not. <laughs> um, let's see if I can push that up. This is maybe something I should have done off camera. 
but it's kind of cute. So it's, this is kind of a nod to, I want it to be John's year. So let's look at these clips. I've got, these are the same shape, but they're different colors. And these are yet, still yet different colors. <laughs> but I'm gonna go for it anyway. I'm gonna put a little bit of glue on the doubled up part. I'm gonna kind of lay it along this line and I'll pull out any real glops of the glue, but I think that should stick. And then let's see, I'm gonna do the heart in the center. Um, it's not gonna have the same, you know, clean arrow lines. And I started to use a, um, I have a punch that could punch a paper uh, chevron arrow like that. But I thought, you know, I, I have these things and I've had them in my stash for a while. I really need to use them. So let's make them work. Okay, there. And let's do this. I'm going to actually do this. I'm going to do it out from the number. And hopefully I can see the lines well enough to, to get them lined up. I have another little thing I want to put on there. Like I want to put like be something like be awesome or be wonderful or my instructions to the year to be fabulous or be amazing, be amazing. That would be good. I would love to be amazed in a good way by a year. <laughs> and I'm holding out some positive energy. that I hope the year picks up, finds and picks up. You know, let's see. I had this that said, grow your dreams, but I think I'd rather put that on another page. I don't have the word B, but I have the word beautiful. And... So I can use the BE from there. So B, let's see, the amazing is going to go there so the B can go out here. No, you know what? I don't want it that far down. I kind of want it part of this cluster. I'll do that. And then I'll pull this off. Amazing. I think I'm done. I have a penguin, a star, some florals, kind of a, a goofy thing there. Let's see. I think it's perfect for a title page. And I think it's true enough to the original that I feel I, I did a legitimate lift. Um, and so I'm, I'm I'm happy to start my album with, with this page. Thanks for watching. I will um, see you on the next lift.
pick it up. I haven't been doing that on these lately. Let you take a look at the at the detail there. You see the little penguin? Isn't he cute? Okay. Bye.